President Trump described Justice Ginsburg as, quote, a fighter to the end. He reacted to her death as he left a campaign rally in Minnesota last night. Both he and his election opponent, former Vice President Joe Biden, campaigned in the hotly contested state on Friday. Today, the president campaigns in North Carolina, and with the death of Justice Ginsburg, a new election issue. Nicole Killian is in Fayetteville, North Carolina, to continue our coverage. Nicole, good morning. Good morning to you, Michelle. And news of Justice Ginsburg's passing broke during President Trump's rally last night. He went on for nearly two hours before he became aware of what happened. He is expected to campaign here in Fayetteville later today, but make no mistake, this changes the dynamic of the race. From the White House and Capitol Hill, where flags were lowered at half-staff, to the steps of the Supreme Court. As the nation learned of Justice Ruth Bader Ginsburg's death, so did President Trump, moments after stepping off the stage at a Minnesota campaign rally. She just died? Wow. I didn't know that. I just, uh, you're telling me now for the first time. Actually, sad to hear that. The president released a fuller statement calling Ginsburg a titan of the law, renowned for her brilliant mind and her powerful dissents at the Supreme Court. All of the former living presidents offered condolences. I, Ruth Bader Ginsburg. Bill Clinton, who nominated Ginsburg to the high court in 1993, wrote, Her 27 years on the court exceeded even my highest expectations when I appointed her. Her landmark opinions moved us closer closer to a more perfect union. Former Vice President Joe Biden said it was an honor to preside over Ginsburg's confirmation hearing. Ruth Bader Ginsburg uh, stood, uh, stood for all of us. Fresh off his own campaign stop to Minnesota, he made clear her replacement should be decided after the election. This was the position of the Republican Senate took in 2016 when there were almost 10 months to go before the election. That's the position the United States Senate must take today. Today I am nominating Chief Judge Merrick Brian Garland. Many Democrats are still reeling after the GOP-led Senate passed over Obama nominee Merrick Garland. The president has already named two justices to the bench. Friday night, he touted his latest list of potential candidates. We have about 45 unbelievable people Unbelievable, the smartest, the best, the absolute creme de la creme, right? The best minds in the country. Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell said President Trump's nominee will receive a vote on the Senate floor, although he did not specify a timetable. But trying to do this before the election could be tricky. On average, it takes about 69 days to get through the confirmation process, and there's just 45 days left until the general election. Dana? Nicole, thank you.